Myla Stevens, uh, 13926 Windjammer. Uh, Mayor, Council, um, in November, my neighbors and I uh, first spoke to you about a dog park being considered in the small neighborhood park behind our homes, which is Aquarius Park. We are all opposed. Um, you may recall at that time that Ms. Rose uh, said the issue was under review by the PRAC. Uh, at the January 10th PRAC meeting, a motion was made to remove Aquarius Park uh, now and in the future from consideration as a dog park site. However, the motion was amended uh, to say as long as it was not allowed by the park's master plan. Uh, Aquarius is far too small and too close to homes for a dog park. Uh, this is a fact that's reflected in our current master plan, which says that dog parks go in a minimum of 50-acre parks. The current plan was done by a Houston firm uh, that is very familiar with dog parks. Houston has 29 of them, and um, they had quite a number at the time the firm did the corpus plan for us. Uh, we read the master plan, actually, <laughs> before we bought our home. Uh, now, our current very thorough and logical master plan is up for review and change. Uh, in fact, there's an agenda item today to award a contract to a local firm to update uh, the park's master plan at a cost to the city of over $72,000. Uh, the neighbors of Aquarius Park are very concerned that this small park could be put into a separate category that would allow it to be the site of a dog park right behind neighbors' homes. The PRAC asked us to find other locations on Padre Island for a dog park, which I did, and I received a very enthusiastic response from the county uh, to locate it at Padre Valley, but the dog park group who's wanting to build it uh, would not present at the meeting that the county parks director asked them to attend. The city has disapproved the dog park at Aquarius through many levels. Mr. Gurnley with Adopt-A-Park, Mr. Ellington, the parks director, Mr. Salmon, the assistant city manager, and the PRAC all said no. Our concern is the city will jump through yet another hoop to accommodate the roughly four to six people who only want a dog park at Aquarius. They want it to be private and uh, that they'll find a way to change the master plan to fit their whim. Uh, at the PRAC meeting, we learned the Adopt-A-Park program uh, citywide for all parks saved the city $21,000. Uh, well, there are 25 homes worth millions of dollars around Aquarius Park. Uh, they will be negatively impacted by a handful of individuals through the Adopt-A-Park vehicle. I do not believe that devaluing property and using uh, social media to bully the neighbors around small neighborhood parks was the goal of the Adopt-A-Park program, but that's what it's become at Aquarius. Um, the neighbors of Aquarius Park fought this battle in 2012 and 2013, and now it's returned, in, uh, and we won. And it's returned in 2017. It's still ongoing. We're busy working families. Our homes were damaged in Harvey. Uh, we need closure. The group has other location choices they will not look at. Um, at what point, when the city says no, is the, act, is the answer actually no, and can we stop fighting this battle? That's our question. Thank you all so much for listening. I appreciate it. Thank you. Not being a lawyer, I'm going to practice a little bit here. We had an agenda item earlier in the day that had to do with our park master plan. Is that correct? Seventy-seven something thousand dollars. Yes, that's the one that was tabled. So... It was table, but it yes. was an agenda item. Yes. So I'd like, if I could ask the council's permission to go back to that agenda item for a discussion. It was tabled. Mm -hmm. Can we untable it for a discussion? She was talking about that item. Um, I guess yeah. the council wants them to. I mean, do you need a motion to bring it back? Mayor, I make a motion that we uh, untable that item. All right, there's a motion to untable or to bring it back. Okay. All in favor say aye. Aye. All right, now, she was addressing an item under the to postpone. Park master plan mm -hmm. review. To postpone. Mr. Ellington, can you address uh, so when that does come back for discussion, we will have this issue addressed about... How many times does it have to be told, or maybe part of the recommendation that that the, the, the current requirement now is a dog park? It has to be a 50-acre or bigger lot or park to be. Considered. Yes, sir, and it's only in the larger size facilities is is the criteria for that. That's, that's park currently park the city. Occur. That's currently the city. That's current in, current in our park master plan. Yes, sir. Mayor, uh, 
we have some people waiting for a public comment just to let you know. I mean, this may not I be understand. the time to talk I about understand, it. I understand, but this is all part of the public comment period. She triggered an issue, and I'm going to ask a question. The current city requirement is that a dog park is not allowed in parks under 50 acres. Yes, sir. Very interesting. Remember that answer. So could it be part of the review that that would not be since you and and uh, I think three or four others were mentioned have already assured her that this is not going to be that that's not an issue that this review needs to address, or does she need to worry about that? The park's master plan update will address all of our classifications for each park and each criteria that meets those classifications. In other words, we will look at dog parks again and determine whether they are in the proper place in our system. <laughs> Just remember your answer than my question a little earlier. So, wait, do, do you need to get a sense of the council or do you want to wait for your park board to do that, that really they're not interested in a dog park in Aquarius Park? Sir, that's entirely up to you and the council if you want to give us any direction. Well, but, I mean, it, 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 but generally, on these type of issues, you generally get feedback from that uh, uh, advisory group prior to it coming back to the council, unless you just want to give your input now. Well, I don't know. I mean, it, everybody so far up the, up the chain of command has said that the concern of the people out there, they don't want this park. So... Are we trying to circumvent the rule so that we go through this master planning and then it come back here and then the council has to say, no, we don't want the park? Or do they need, I mean, I don't know. Just tell me the, the no. issue. And if they change the rule, is it retroactive? We review that process of what goes in the master plan and what criteria for each park every five years. So right. we're in the... It, it gets updated fully every 10 years, but it gets reviewed every five years. All right. Okay, that's all that I... Uh, the system's got me beat. We'll go back to public comment. I can't... Move the table. I, I don't... I, I can't seem to get a straight okay. answer. All right. I move the we'll table. We'll go back to public comment. The motion table... Right. There's been a motion and a second to 